Hi, all you healthy humans. Welcome to New Leaf Table TV. I'm your host, Chef E, and today we are making cauliflower nachos. This is a plant-based dish. It's delicious, mouth-watering, super nutritious, and it's also full of flavor. You're gonna love it, I know. So we have our cauliflower that we're gonna crisp up in the oven. We have tomatoes and shallots and cilantro we're gonna use to make a fresh salsa for on top. And then we have avocado, we're gonna make a creamy sauce and top with some fresh jalapeno peppers. So let's get started. Well, first of all, preheat your oven to 450 degrees. So if you haven't done that, stop right now, go do that. Next, you're gonna take your cauliflower that should be pre-washed and chopped up for you and make for sure that it is evenly chopped. You don't want any pieces bigger than other pieces because as you crisp them in the oven, some will cook faster than others. Also, make sure they're evenly spaced out on your pan just because that helps them crisp up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take some avocado oil. You can take any oil with a high smoke point and just toss some over my cauliflower. I'm also gonna do some sea salt. Y'all know I like Redmond real sea salt, as well as some fresh cracked pepper, and some smoked paprika. And then I'll take everything and then just give it a little toss right in my sheet pan. My sheet pan is lined with unbleached parchment paper. You don't necessarily have to line your pan. I just like to because it helps with cleanup at the end. Sometimes it's easier to get in there with your fingers. Give it a good toss so you know it's nice and coated. So just get your hands dirty. Alrighty, make sure it's evenly spaced on your baking sheet. And then we will pop this in the oven. All right, that goes in the oven for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make this fresh salsa to go on top. You can also make this salsa ahead of time and leave it in your fridge for about an hour and it'll absorb all the flavors. I'm gonna use our food processor for just a few ingredients that need to be chopped really fine. If you don't have a food processor, you can definitely just chop them with your good old knife and cutting board. So I'm gonna take my shallot. I cut mine in half because it was rather large. I'm just gonna chop it into thick chunks, and throw it on in here. I'm also gonna do half of a jalapeno and we're gonna save the other half for topping. We like it spicy, so I'm gonna leave the seeds in, but you can definitely take them out. That's where the spice lives. And then I'm gonna do half a bunch of cilantro. Fun fact about cilantro is the stems taste really yummy. So you can go ahead and chop them right on in there because they have really good flavor. Parsley, on the other hand, the stems are bitter. So you don't want to eat those stems. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna give a few good pulses in my food processor. You might need to scrape down the sides if things get stuck. Smells lovely in there. I hope y'all are smelling it too. Alrighty, everything's nice and finely chopped. I'm just gonna scoop all of this into a bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna chop up my tomatoes to add to my salsa. I'm gonna chop them as fine as I can, but you don't wanna put them in a food processor because they would just turn to mush. Dump those right on in. Then we are going to chop half of a lime and add the juice. 
We'll save the rest of our lime for our avocado sauce. Squeeze that right on in there. Add some nice vitamin C and lots of bright acid flavor. Now we'll put some cumin and some real sea salt. Y'all know I love Redmond's. Couple good pinches. And then mix it all up. Okay, we're done with our salsa for now. So we are going to set it aside. Like I said, you can put it in the fridge or just set it aside if you're almost ready to eat. Now, I'm gonna use the food processor once again to make our avocado sauce. If you don't have a food processor, you can chop all of this into a chunky sauce. You can also use a blender. It works just as well. I'm sure everybody has a blender on hand. Super easy, we're just gonna throw everything in here, let it fly, and make our yummy sauce. So we're gonna do avocado, a whole avocado. Alrighty, we're gonna put some olive oil, about a tablespoon. Some dried onions. You could also use fresh shallots. Some Italian seasoning. Some spicy brown mustard. And some hot sauce. I love Frank's. You can use any type that you like. Just make for sure it's sugar and preservative free. Then we will add a little bit of water just for consistency. I might stop, this is about a fourth of a cup. I might stop and add water as we process. So see how it's kind of thick? We definitely need some more water in there. We want it to be kind of like a creamy texture. Maybe just a little bit more water. Alrighty, that looks perfect. It's gonna be so tasty. Mm, so good. Okay, our cauliflower is done. I'm gonna get that and show you how to put it all together. Okay, we have our crispy cauliflower. So let's start with that. Put a layer on the bottom. I'm so excited, this is gonna be so tasty. All right, we have our crispy cauliflower. We're gonna do our tomato cilantro salsa. And then we will put some of our avocado creamy sauce on top. And then we can top with some fresh jalapenos and some cilantro. Just a few little sprigs and a squeeze of lime and maybe a little extra salt and pepper to your taste. Alrighty, let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. So fresh, so delicious. The sauce really makes the dish. Definitely check this out if you want a plant-based meal that'll satisfy the whole family. That's all we have today. Thank you for watching New Leaf Table TV. Until we dine again, farewell healthy humans. To subscribe to New Leaf Table's meal plan service with weekly meals and easy delivery through your existing Amazon Fresh membership, 
visit our website at newleaftable.com. And also, please hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. We're gonna make a tomato shallot salsa to go on top, as well as an avocado-based, creamy, um, I can't think of the name, sauce. <laughs> Let me get the seed out. And the other side. It's a what? It's a pit. It's a pit. Sorry. I've just been corrected. It was a pit. <laughs>